friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we are doing something a little different. We are reacting to Filipino drinking etiquette. I think this is very exciting. Is. We're trying to do some different content, dabble in a little bit of stuff, but also learn about the cultures of the music that we've been reacting, reacting to. That's very interesting to us. Like, exactly. Personally, I'm a bartender, so I'm very excited about this just because... It kind of relates to my yeah, I other figured job. You would be intrigued. This came across my recommended feed because I've, <clears throat> excuse me, you I've been, it. you know, I've been wanting to dive more into the cultures that we're reacting to, learn more about it. So when I saw this one, I was like, dude, this would be so perfect to react to with you being a bartender. Jess like knows so much about, like, I guess, I don't want to be wrong when I say this, but you know so much about alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you could say I know about American drinking etiquette if we have yeah. drinking etiquette. I don't know, but <laughs> I just figured that this would be a very interesting and fun video it to will. react to. I'm excited. I so can't wait to see I it. I am very excited as well. <laughs> We're getting away from uh, music reactions a little bit, but if you do like this video, leave some recommendations for more stuff like this. Yes, We've please. thought about diving into different things other than just music reactions, but keeping it in like immersing ourselves in different cultures. Yes. Um, I love to cook. So something else I've thought about is, you know, getting recipes from you guys yeah. and, and trying, trying to out. cook them, you yeah. know, making a video out of us trying to cook meals and, and tasting it for the first time as well. And uh, so, yeah, if you have any other recipes, some recipes you want to throw at us. Yes, please. Because he likes to cook and I like to eat and it's a match made in heaven. And I feel <laughs> like the video would be amazing. But anything <laughs> else as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Communal drinking is a vital part of Filipino culture. From the smallest birthday parties to big town fiestas, Filipinos just can't seem to get together without having a few drinks on the table. <laughs> However, believe it or not, amidst the chaos lies an age-old order. Welcome to Philippines 101, and this is Philippine drinking etiquette. <laughs> okay, this guy sounds Australian, and yeah. I know Australian and the Philippines aren't that far from each other. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering about his ethnicity and how he, you know, thought about doing this video. Yeah. I'm interested in that. Maybe it's a character. His face, as though, well. and he, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He is playing a character. It seems like as well. Yeah. Pain drinking etiquette. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Following the opening of the bottle, the tangero, also called the gunner, and one of the distinctive characters of the drinking culture in the Philippines, assumes an important role. Now, prior to the commencement of the festivities, a small portion of the intoxicating liquid is poured into the cap, then subsequently emptied onto the ground. This ceremonial offering to the spirits is considered essential for a safe, and devil free session. <laughs> we, okay. nice. we call that pouring one out for the homies. For the homies, yeah. <laughs> You're right, we do, do that here. <laughs> Considered essential for a safe and devil free devil session. Free the Tangero session. pours the drink every time, measuring the liquor bottle. Okay, so the Tangero is like the bartender basically, and yeah. like, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. The participants are not given individual glasses. This is in accordance with the tradition of tagay, which means a show of trust, camaraderie, and in these days, a united willingness to enter in a COVID Russian roulette as drinkers <laughs> share a common glass passed in a round robin sequence dude could you imagine everyone at your bar sharing the same glass that, i don't think that would happen but there are a lot of people that sit at the bar and they're like alcohol kills it alcohol will kill it so i feel yeah. like there's a lot of people that'll be like eh, eh alcohol will kill it a covid <laughs> russian roulette oh my gosh that's really cool i mean the parts that he was talking about before that the camaraderie the trust yeah i like the idea of that the COVID Russian roulette, though, I don't know. <laughs> kind of turned me off of it. Alcohol but... <laughs> will kill it. All right. But we've done that. I mean, I remember when I first started drinking, this is going to get too deep into it, but we would literally open a bottle and literally pass it around. Like, that, it's oh, awful, 100%. horrible. You do crazy 100%. things when you're young and silly, but that's, that's I just hilarious. drink it right after. Like, not even care. A united willingness me. to enter <laughs> in a COVID Russian roulette as drinkers share a common glass passed in a round robin sequence. That's cool. It I is like frowned upon to take a pass, 
But when a drinker is excessively intoxicated, a substitute from within the group must consume the shot in the drinker's place so without affecting his or her own turn. <laughs> To maintain oh sequence. Wait, so it doesn't affect their own turn, so they have to take their friends. And someone and... else's. Oh my god. You gotta god. take one. That's the definition of taking one for the team, man. Somebody's gotta do it. It's that's a hard hilarious. job. That's <laughs> Without affecting his or her own turn. Oh, gosh. To maintain the sequence. It is customary, post-consumption, to return the shot glass to the center of the table or hand it directly to the tanguero to be refilled for the next drinker. What, what? the heck is chicken oil? I, I was the looking little at pack that of too. Chicken like, oil. Yeah, please let us know in the comments down never below heard if you know of what that is. Oil. I've never seen a packet of chicken oil like that. I've heard of chicken being cooked in oil, but not chicken, chicken oil, oil itself. Hmm. Oh my gosh. The composition of every drinking session varies. However, it is important to familiarize oneself with these characters as to be aware of their characteristics. The Drunken Master, a legend gifted with immunity from inebriation, usually <laughs> left with the task of cleaning up after all is said and done. The That's Walking important. Dead. This creature's will to stay conscious despite consuming overwhelming oh, amount of alcohol <laughs> is commendable and allows it to continuously engage with the group, albeit from a half dead <laughs> state. The state. escape artist, capable of sudden disappearances, it leaves unnoticed, bringing with it its share of the bill. Oh no, that's the werewolf. The usual catalyst of trouble, it turns aggro and overconfident with every shot. <laughs> that might be my mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. This is so She's cool. the werewolf. It's literally breaking down every single patron that I've seen at the bar before. <laughs> they have a name. Dude, you should send this to your other bartender I'm so you can start. Oh, we got a werewolf over here. We got a werewolf. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. It turns aggro and overconfident with every shot. The concert queen or king. Oh, my. A frustrated vocalist, this creature bogarts the karaoke machine in its quest for validation. The sleeping... <laughs> okay, someone said that Roland, Abante, they like them. Uh, they prefer him when he's drinking and does karaoke. I'm not sure. We haven't got to that reaction yet. I'm not sure if there's a video of him out there drinking while doing karaoke or something. But I did see that comment. I thought it was funny. And now this makes me think of him. Like, He's the concert king. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. He doesn't need recognition, though. He doesn't need uh, king. Yeah, validation. validation. No. A frustrated vocalist, this creature bogarts the karaoke machine in its quest for validation. <laughs> the sleeping beauty. With its low tolerance for alcohol, this creature lacks the ability to stay conscious with its introduction in its bloodstream. Because it is immobilized early on in the session, the Sleeping Beauty is oh. the primary target for embarrassing photos and unwarranted facial, facial doodles. doodles. This is me. <laughs> that is you, sleeping That's me. Beauty. I am such a lightweight. <laughs> I am such a lightweight. And when we started, I haven't, I don't really drink that often. But man, when we first started dating, I did get my face doodled a I, few times. You did? That's so crazy. You helped. I did help. I'm sorry, I did Just help. Just doodled my face. I put makeup on him. That's what it was. I'm so bad, but I mean, I guess I deserve it for being happens. the sleeping beauty. You're the first wow. one to fall asleep. I'm the primary target. <laughs> primary target for embarrassing photos and unwarranted and facial you have pictures doodles. of it too. The runner. The one task with the acquisition and logistics of essential supplies to perpetuate the drinking session, <laughs> such as ice and booze. One privilege of the runner is that it is able to choose the food it likes to be consumed by the group along <laughs> with the alcohol. <laughs> you see, for Filipinos, no drinking session is complete without the accompaniment of food. Yeah. Usually of the that greasy and fatty variety. Greasy this fatty is called variety. pulutan, and it comes from the Filipino word pulot, meaning to pick up. Now, it is acceptable for drinkers to grab small bites in between shots. What is that? Are those little like bits of rib or something? Uh, it's some kind of meat, but it looks delicious. It looks so good. Even that little like bowl of something. Yeah, that looks the, so oof. good. 
This is to remove the bitterness from the alcohol as well as prolong intoxication as the food is hoped to slow down the alcohol from entering the bloodstream. It is unacceptable, however, to consume the pollutant with rice as it is meant to be shared and not to be hoarded and treated like a meal. <laughs> okay. In the event that That's interesting. All right, all right. I'm loving this, dude. This you is very cool. You can't have your own little plate. You got to just pick it up and eat it yeah. and share it with the rest. Okay. I right. like that. I, I like that. A I lot. do like it. it. And not to be hoarded and treated like a meal. <laughs> In the event that grease or fat is unavailable, inexpensive nuts and chips are usually the viable alternatives, hey. including some born out of creative ingenuity like the <laughs> tuna and canto cracker combo. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> That's the fancy stuff right there. He literally put some elbow grease in it. Literally. <laughs> literally. Uh, Got it in Dude, there. I'm all down with the peanuts and stuff. <laughs> I'm all down with eating some peanuts during a drinking, a communal drinking session. You can't session. tell me, though. You can't tell me that you haven't had friends over and you were like, I don't have anything in my fridge. And you just whip like, something you up. Just, you literally just come up with something. Definitely. I've done that a couple I'm times. I'm judging too harshly. You're right. Me and my younger <laughs> years, we, I would have elbow chopped. That's the fun, though. Like, you're, when you're young, I feel like when you're younger, you don't care as much and like you you just get away with it and your friends are like well this Honestly, is awesome it's just because i don't drink as much anymore if i was drinking even at my age now mm -hmm. and there was nothing else to eat i'd be elbow chopping some crackers yep, you get creative or something you would you do think of it you, you do just... get creative this is hilarious <laughs> i've seen this from french restaurants <laughs> I think he likes yeah. it. I think he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Kanpai or Kanpai in Japanese is the Filipino way of saying cheese. The clinking of glasses and the partaking of a shared beverage containing every participant's DNA is meant to honor <laughs> old friendships, celebrate new ones, and in certain situations, possibly avert oneself from being violated with a sharp piece of metal designed to break up Jeez. <laughs> End it with oh, the crack. So See, that was so good. That was so funny. What <laughs> crack was showing when he got up? That was an awesome video. That was oh, very, very man. fun and entertaining and educational as well. Yeah, definitely. I always, every time we learn a little bit more about a culture, uh, it's like I want to adopt some of those things into my own life. Yeah. <laughs> and that is definitely, that I had a lot of those things. That well, you already amazing. have the butt crack going for you. So there's that. Hey, they didn't need to know that. <laughs> they didn't, they did not need to know that. God I don't need to know it either. Other people got to share it with me. Sorry. I already get enough crap from our sons <laughs> for my crack showing sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I didn't need you getting in on the freaking... <laughs> That was very entertaining and I couldn't believe like I love when you see different uh cultures like have we have similarities we do have yeah. similarities like when we yeah. get together we have a party we don't necessarily drink out of the same cup I mean depending on how much you drink it, at one of our parties sometimes you do you know though I mean? sometimes you definitely do sometimes you just don't you just But it's not a but... it's not a necessity you know yeah. if it was that would be I would not mind that sitting around a wooden table <laughs> seems fam very familiar to me yeah. just having a good time with friends and having like this communal time yeah just sounds so much cooler like you're not doing your own thing i would have a harder time with it because it's it's against tradition to turn down the drink and yeah. i'm like I, I baby my drinks i get made fun of for it so much i baby my freaking drinks and i disappear <laughs> and i will pour one out sometimes and i'll come back like yeah i'm done i drank, I drank it mine. What, how where's y'all's at <laughs> i drank all of it i couldn't get away with that stuff here okay that's not good yeah you'd be right there all eyes on you you couldn't yeah you couldn't get sleeping away with beauty it. oh my goodness and in, in like certain friend groups you get here it's definitely if you fall asleep first or if you pass out, you're going to get messed with. Yep. You're the one with the facial doodles for sure. Yeah. Yep. But some friends are not like that. 
but to know that it's like a common thing yeah. is just like man i'm it makes me stressed out i can't go to the philippines and drink with y'all man i would be in trouble yeah you would be in trouble for sure oh my goodness <laughs> given the nicknames that i wonder hilarious. what i would be i have to go back in there and look at uh my drinking style i'll have to go check it out I'll i feel like you're the first one the very first one the uh the drunken master the drinking master yeah right you can hold your alcohol okay <laughs> i probably would be in charge of the cleanup later though because i probably yeah, would be exactly you're all responsible and stuff <laughs> even when you're drinking it's crazy let's clean it up let's get it get it the mess that's hilarious <laughs> that was so freaking that funny. was fun i look forward to more videos i hope uh people have some uh links yeah. in the comments below because uh that was really fun hopefully this spurred an idea in you of something to send us yeah if you've seen anything like this even if uh, you're not one of our Philippine friends right now and you're watching this, something from your culture as well. We're, we're interested in diving into every culture. Yes, you know? definitely. I love no diving limits. into other cultures. Yeah. And yeah, about the food thing, don't forget, send me some recipes. Mm -hmm. You got to tell me what to buy so I can try to whip these creations eat, up. I can eat it. I want to eat it. I really want to know what they were eating. We need some communal eating around here. We do. That would be fun. <laughs> All right, friends. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace.